We're going to Dallas. Right now we're waiting on Zach. I think I'm about to jump in the ice bath before we hit the road. Get the balls cold. Getting your balls cold is really good for your testosterone. I'm not even joking. But we're gonna do that. I just ate. We got a cooler that we're gonna load the beef in. Um, we're gonna stop at Bucky's on the way. I'll give you guys a tour of the Airbnb when we get there. We're gonna compete. And then we're gonna drive up to the Windstar Casino and lose money. gamble. We're gonna lose money. So, I emptied my Acorns account for this. <laughs> Pib's not here. She disappeared because you guys stopped buying Gorilla Mine, so she just shriveled into nothing. <laughs> so if you want to bring her back, get these. This is like my favorite supplement from Gorilla Mine, shroom. It's like you can tell people you're taking mushrooms and you can seem really brave, but you're not actually taking mushrooms. You're just taking lion's mane, cordyceps, reishi, maitake. I know lion's mane is good, and if you take lion's mane, if you have ADHD or anything like that, lion's mane's great. And normally you'll get it, and it'll be like 500 milligram serving sizes. The serving size in this shit is 3,200 milligrams. So you literally become a mushroom. Once you step in the grass, you can no longer move. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite supplement. We're bringing some uh, Gorilla Mode Base. Uh, Calm, that's the new stuff. It's like ashwagandha and L-theanine. I take it before I go to bed, it's great. I take the carnitine, I take all that stuff. And I'm going to take my doubts and I'm going to throw them out the window because I am a fucking beast. And I'm about to show all you guys that when I win so much money at the casino. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with the competition. But uh, Madison's texting me. Can you help me please? So she's right there, but I'll be back. Like an apple. <sighs> Nico actually didn't do this. If Nico does it, will you do it? Right now? Yeah. If Nico does it. If Ooh. I do it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. There we go. I'll have closer anyways. Oh, I want to clarify something. A lot of people were uh, confused about yesterday's reel. The whole butt cheek thing. Let's shut that door. What I meant by that is if you can have both of your ass cheeks on the toilet seat, reach behind your back and fit your hand deep enough to wipe your whole ass then you need to squat more because that's unacceptable. You don't have enough muscular development in your posterior chain. You should have to kind of like lean, tilt up one of your ass cheeks in order to open up enough area to accomplish your goal. That's what I meant. And I also don't squat on the toilet seat. I know how that could have been taken out of context. <laughs> we got 30 seconds left. Thanks. If you guys want one of these, you can get $250 off using code DOZER, Sub-Zero Plunge. This thing's fucking awesome. It's the best ice bath in the fucking game. It's time we all ice bath. Nico ice bath, Madison ice bath, Zach ice bath, everyone ice bath. We're about to leave. We got three cars rolling up there. We're gonna be in a single file line. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go do that. We're gonna stop by Bucky's and then we're gonna get there. We're gonna have a pool tournament. We got a pool table. There being B, we got a chipping green in the backyard. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Is there actually? Yeah. What? <laughs> we got a grill. Say it again. Code Dozer. D O Z E R. Use code Dozer for Grill of Mind. Grill of Mind. Code Dozer. D O Z E R. Dozer. Grill of Mind. Thanks. <laughs> Nico picks the best time to start rolling on YouTube. My face is fucking full of food. Um, I'm eating food, watching Kill Tony. That is so nasty. <laughs> What'd you do? Did you open your mouth? Remember when she jerked? Yeah. <laughs> Madison just weighed in. Me and Zach weigh in in an hour and a half. Dylan said he's gonna weigh double what I weigh in, so I weighed in at 57, he's gonna have to weigh in at 114, so you better get drinking and eating. Yeah, I swallowed a handful of fishing weights before you started the camera, so I'll be good. Madison 
forgot her gym bag on the way here. And my ID. And her ID, and so. My Everything but clothes she forgot. So she had to turn around there in the car for five hours yesterday. Me and Zach got here in three hours. Austin to South Dallas is two hours and 30 minutes. Madison doubled the time somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna finish eating and then I'm going to, I guess we'll film the weigh-ins. We'll do that. I gotta weigh in my singlet. You gotta weigh in your singlet now. Your singlet's already on. You went to sleep with it on last night. <laughs> but yeah, these are Gorilla Mine pieces of rice. <laughs> Comment um, what you guys think of Nico's socks. If they look like a gray dog's penis or not. Oh, yeah. Dude, this guy's the biggest bandwagon ever. How? Yeah. He eats Chicago Bulls. You got a Chiefs shirt? Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kanye West. <laughs> what? Yeah, the Essentials brand. That's right? not Kanye West. <laughs> oh, God. Fancy. Yeah. Uh, Madison just finished. It's my turn. Zach's turn. Um, we got a rogue bar in the back room. That's why I bought a rogue bar, because that's what we people use a lot. That's what we use at national meets. So it's like we're just training a game day on a big, giant blue platform. Madison, she did okay. She didn't do great. She didn't do terrible. She did okay. But we'll see. Say what you're opening your door. Yeah. 142, 180. Tell them that. I'm opening at 142, 180. Jesus Christ. Maybe. Clean and jerks could be a little more if I feel good. Snatches are 142. I think they just hooked it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. My body feels great. Check that out. How the hot feel? I got no crust anywhere. <laughs>
Hey guys, we're having a situation where everyone is individually following themselves because everyone's so far separated. So Dylan and Zach have been resting for 40 minutes since their snatch session. A little bit of a situation that probably doesn't ever happen, but we're here, we're in it. <laughs> Rings down, rings are heavy and curse the head. No more talk, keep walks, that you're trying to end up red. That, uh, that sucked, that was bad, but oh, right. that's good because normally I can't have a good meet after a good meet. Normally I need to have a bad meet. I still clean a jerk 190, which is good. I have been, I don't wanna make excuses, but I have been dealing with some like. Me? Yeah. Hi. He has been dealing with some digestion issues. I don't know, but that's what he's gonna say. He has been dealing with me, so. <laughs> and my mental health. <laughs> He um, he just pats me on the back and tells me it's okay every day, and I think that's been mentally exhausting to him. Um, I've been dealing with like some digestive shit. Oh, I was right. Um, which has been on my mind, but I've tried not to like make a thing out of it. But like, I've been having stomach pain every fucking night and some weird shit because I'm just stuffing my face constantly, so my digestion's a little bit behind, and. If your digestion's fucked, your recovery's fucked. So that's played a role. There, there were days I like skipped training because it was so bad. So we're gonna probably eat light this next week. Just let my shit reset because that uh, it's been killing me. I've been bloated and like hiccuping constantly and fucking just randomly shitting my brains out. So we'll move on from that. Hopefully start to recover a little better, have more energy. I've just been tired all the time. So. That's what happens when you try to get fucking huge. When you eat and don't shit, your stomach starts hurting. Got a little tummy ache. But I'll be alright. I'd like to. Um, Zach did good. So, yeah, I'm doing the dog pack, but so is Zach. Thanks, man. And uh, you can see that it's working, thanks to Zach. I'm a little bitch. Zach is not. Zach did great. He won Sinclair. He got a 376 Sinclair. Is that good? Which is, that's fucking fat. That's a bit, oh fuck, 200 would have beat him. God damn it. Whatever. I'm proud of the boy. He's uh, keeping me on my shit. He's getting strong, fast, and he's gonna be a real contender in the 96s very soon. So just toss that. You know, we're gonna hang him up in the gym like Zach said. Zach wants to hang him up in the gym. That was the closest crack I've had at 200. I over pulled it. The summoning was on, it got real loud, and I just, I don't know. But that's it. Now the Arnold, reset my digestive system, take some probiotics, clear my shit out, and then uh, we'll be back. 
in a glorious fashion. And I am gonna, one more thing, I'm adding fucking straps back in. The internet got me, you fuckers got me. You're like, who wears straps all the time? I completely lost my pull through the middle on Snatch. Like, I don't have it anymore. And the reason I started using Snatch, or straps, is because that would make it way better. And it would help me with my connection, and like, I was looking back at videos of Nationals when I bombed out. That was an overhead stability thing. Like, I was very connected through the middle, and I literally just got wrapped up in the wrong thing because I thought I shouldn't be wearing straps all the time. But, take straps off of my Snatch is worse than it's ever been. So we're gonna put we're gonna put straps on again. We're not gonna use them all the time. Fridays, we're probably gonna work up without straps, then wave back down, put straps on. Um, but, I think that'll help that. I'm gonna do some upper back accessory, make sure I have some sort of connection through the middle. But this was good. I was dead set on just being done weightlifting, but I can't do that to you guys. That's what I was thinking after snatches. But uh, we're we'll fine. We're gonna go have a little fun, move on from this one, make all the fixes we need to make. And I did make 190, That's, which is a big number, and I felt like dog shit. That was a terrible clean. So, there's some positives. Way more negatives, but there's some positives. But we're, we're gonna learn and we're gonna move on from it and you guys are going to uh, make me feel better by clicking one of those links and doing something. That'd make me forget all about this. <laughs> but what I want you guys to do in the comments is absolutely harass me and make me feel terrible about how bad that performance was. Just tear my weightlifting to shreds. Make me feel terrible about myself. That's the best motivation. Don't be like, Dude, don't even worry about it. You come back stronger the next time. Don't do that shit. Be like, you fucking suck. I hate you. I hope your house burns down. Some shit like that. That's just an idea. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Blow the comments up. Make my self-confidence go through the floor. Give me some hunger. Make me want to come back strong. And I'll see you guys in the next video.